Tonight on ESPN, fans are going to get to see the Cavs' new starting lineup of Dwayne Wade, Derrick Rose, LeBron James, Jay Crowder, Kevin Love take on Wade's last team, the Bulls, in an exhibition game, 8 o'clock Eastern. You're going to watch that. Now, guys, J.R. Smith, I felt, has really taken the high road in all of this in an impressive way. He's said team first. He's like, I'm going to kill it coming off the bench with Tristan Thompson, Kyle Korver, Jeff Green. But this news broke on our show yesterday. We talked about it a little bit right at the end. I want to go a little deeper. What do you think of this decision from Ty Lue? Well, I mean, it had, it had to be a decision sooner or later. I mean, you had to, you, you, you didn't want that just hanging over the team. And everybody knew it was going to be Dwayne Wade. He never came off the bench. Everybody knew he was going to start. And I think I knew JR was going to be fine with it. He's going to come off the bench and get way more shots he would in the starting lineup. So I think it'll work out. Yeah, it, and the, the thing, too, for Smith is Dwayne Wade's not going to play every night, and his minutes are going to be monitored. Mm -hmm. There's going to be plenty of minutes, plenty of shots for JR Smith this year in Cleveland. JR hoverboarded right along the high road when, when this happened. Hover, you right. had to go there. I, look, we're going to talk about our, our I, the, the rationale of everybody knew Dwayne Wade was going to start because he's Dwayne Wade. That scares me a little bit. If I'm a Cavs fan and that's the rationale for, for any lineup decision, that worries me a little bit. That's all I'm going to say. I, I would say you can start this way, right? And then who knows the kind of season. where you go from here. And then you said, hey, we did it. We gave him the chance to start. And then you can kind of see where things go from there. I do want to get your starting lineups. If you were the coach, Zach. Would, what would you do? Well, when we bring Isaiah Thomas back, my starting lineup would be right there. Isaiah Thomas, JR, LeBron, Jay Crowder, Kevin Love. So to beat, my goal is to beat the Warriors. That's all, right? right. So if I go all defense in the starting lineup, that's not going to be potent enough offensively. So Love at center, we're sticking with that. Isaiah, point guard, we're risking that, even though defensively he might have a hard time against the Warriors. And look, JR over Wade. JR is a much better shooter, comfortable playing off the ball. And defensively, he's better than Dwayne Wade. He's just a better fit in this lineup. So that's what I'm riding or dying with. Steven? Uh, I'm, I'm, start, I'm starting with IT and Wade. Um, I'm not going to start JR. I'm going to go Braun and Green. Wait, you're not starting your boy? No, nah, I'm not going to start him. I'm going to go with Wade. Mm. I, li I like him off the bench for this team. I think okay. he's, he's going to get back to his six man, six man of the year status. Okay. I'm, starting with, I'm starting with those guys. I'm, fin I'm finishing with IT, JR, because he's a big shot maker. Wade, I like Braun at the four with the, with the mismatch problems and uh, Kevin Love. Hmm. I'm not even playing Jeff Green. He's not, he's not making my rotation. Is he making your roster? He's going to be he's going to be the unsung MVP for that team. Watch. Wow. Watch. Watch. We'll bet a beer over that. Or I was going to say, okay, cool, that cool. seems like, I mean, that's a, that's a far out statement. Paul Pierce, who, as you know, is on our show a lot, was not complimentary of their shared time together on yeah. the Clippers when he was on TV recently. Paul, Paul Pierce is a, Paul Pierce has now a new career insulting current players. He, he does not hold back, man. He what goes, do you mean he a new career? It. Did you see him on the I, court well, the he's, last? He's really like, good, but he doesn't. But by the way, my finish, my finishing five. He's gotten five, into it with a my, few people. Yes. My finishing five. If they're ahead, then Tristan Thompson comes back in, right? They, so right. they can go offense, defense a little bit. Right. I like I like, I like the way you, you can separate Crowder. You can throw Crowder in there, yeah. but I like Jeff Green. I, I think he's going to bring a lot. You know, sometimes different sceneries help. So. We'll see. It might work for Derrick Rose as well. And the Cavs still have to get rid of a contract before opening night? Yeah, they've tried to. They've tried. They've made calls about Richard Jefferson to try to find a taker somewhere in the league. Um, if they can't get Jefferson off in a trade, which is pretty unlikely, there's not a lot of roster spots available in the league, uh, Jefferson could be a guy who they have to waive. Interesting. Well, there's a few candidates for that list. Let's there's a few on that roster. Who it ends up being.